It might be snowing, I don't even know. It's miserable. We have the inventory. That's for sure. We have plenty of inventory as you can see, we're, we're pretty full. Good morning, by the way. My name is Adine, full-time reseller with my beautiful wife, Melinda. She's gonna be joining us either later today or tomorrow. It's gonna be a two-day vlog focusing on processing. It's time to get this stuff out of here. If you've been watching our recent videos, you know we had two store buyouts. The latest one was from Jay's store. You can go check that out, but we have plenty of inventory and it's time to get it all processed or as much as possible. So today it's going to be a bunch of processing, some tips, some sales, and we'll continue this vlog into tomorrow. If you guys are brand new to our channel, welcome. If you haven't subscribed yet, I encourage you to do so. It's absolutely free to you and you get up-to-date video notifications when we drop new content. We are putting out three videos at least a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time premiere, so you can come and chat with us if you would like to, connect with us, ask questions, and so forth. I'm gonna start processing the electronics you see there. I got all of that stuff including two large speakers which are right here. They're Pioneers plus that Pioneer cabinet all for 50 bucks off of Facebook. It's time to get that stuff inside the house and set up. So I'll show you some quick tips on testing these types of electronics. This is vintage sound equipment. We also have these two speakers here that we're doing a deal on. So I'm going to try to get those up. Those are uh, pretty fancy. And then I'm going to start working through this pile here. And we still have stuff in my car from Jay's store. So we got to get this stuff out. We do have our helper working for us three days this week. So today, tomorrow and Thursday. So we're going to make sure that we have a good strategy in place so we can get as much processed and listed as possible. I'll keep you guys up to date of how much we get processed in the next day and a half. Today is going to be a long day. My plan is to literally work. Uh, it's like 8.30 right now. I'm going to work until about midnight or later tonight. I'm going to pause a little bit for family time, lunch of course, dinner, uh, spend some time with my wife and my kid. But today is going to be a long, long day and I'm looking forward to it. Confirmed. It's uh, it's snowing. I'm pretty sure this is the uh, first snow of the season. How exciting. Of course, Jessica already put her toys on top of it. You know, another platform to play on as you can hear upstairs. So I'm going to hook all this stuff up first because I have the receiver and all that's needed. Once that's all hooked up, if the receiver works fine, then I can just test all these speakers through that same receiver, through the same unit. And then I can test the Sony, this, this is like a 200 CD player, yeah, 200 mega storage unit. These are pretty good if you can find them. And then these are not something you're going to come across very often. These are quite pricey. The brand of these is simply Monitor Audio. These came from a friend and business partner of ours. He was just downsizing some of his uh, really nice equipment. I'm pretty sure these are made in England or made in the UK. Yeah, made in England right on the bottom there. So I'm going to hook these bad boys up and get them tested. I couldn't find comps for these to offer them cash. A rare time that we're actually going to do consignment. We're just going to split the uh, net profits from these two speakers. There's also a third piece of this. Oh uh, Yeah, it's right here. This is the, like, the top soundbar. Then up here, just a simple three CD player from Goodwill. These are decent sellers. Get that hooked up and tested as well. Also pulled a bunch of stuff from the garage. All of this is video game stuff, um, some RC stuff. This stuff in here, the Boyd's Bears. Um, these aren't worth very much. We got these for free from Melinda's aunt as well. This one actually, this little basket is worth like 30 bucks, which is kind of crazy. This came from Jay's store, more Boyd's Bears stuff. So I'm just gonna lock this stuff up, get it out of here. These two have no value, they're gonna go to donation. And then all of this stuff came from Jay as well, these 1970s action figures and some 1990s Beatles, submarine stuff. So I'm gonna clean these up and get them listed as well. I also have to get work prep for Emily when she comes over later to help us process. Most likely I'm gonna have her play some video games and get a bunch of systems tested and bundles created. I'll probably also have her photograph some of the hard goods that I've been testing throughout the day. As I continue to pull stuff from the garage, just wanted to give you a heads up on these Boyd's Bears. They're not worth much at all. The only reason I'm putting this lot together to sell is because we got it for free from Monda's aunt. And all of the money made off of this stuff goes to Jessica's education fund. So I think this whole lot is probably worth like 25 bucks or something like that. That's what I'm going to list it for really cheap just to move this stuff. But 
I would not. If you see this stuff at estate sales, garage sales, look it up if you want to, but it's a very slow seller and not a lot of people are buying this stuff. The cheese lady and you. So I'm testing all this stuff, this entire stack. It took me a little while. Um, the control center here works perfectly with this amplifier. They both work fine. I had a little bit of trouble figuring out what speakers to connect to, as you can see here. Depending on if this button is pressed in or not, it's going to play speakers A or A and B. And then corresponding with the back, you can figure that out. There's speakers A, speakers B, front, back, all that good stuff. Testing this stuff isn't as difficult as it seems. It's really just plug and play. I enjoy doing this in batches because now that I know that my control center works perfectly fine and my amplifier works, now I can test my cassette player and my CD player really easily by simply connecting some audio wires in the back and connecting the units and that's really straightforward. Same with the speakers, once it's working I can just plug and play, switch out different cables just to make sure all the speakers are working. These two big ones I'm not going to sell on eBay, I'm going to sell them locally, I just don't want to ship something this big. Uh, and plus they're not that valuable uh, where it makes sense to ship something this large. Now if these were vintage and really really high end speakers of course I would ship them but these are not. This entire stack I picked up for 50 bucks. This combo set last time I checked was like two, three hundred dollars. And then these are brought probably like 50, 60 bucks a piece. It did come with all of the paperwork and the remote which is awesome. I'm going to continue to test, get this one tested, get the bottom one tested. Once that's done, I got a Sony CD player I want to test. I can hook up to this receiver as well and go from there. Just got finished testing these ones as well. These are monitor audio. You're not going to see this at a thrift store most likely. These are really high-end speakers, uh, really beautiful sound. I am going to sell these on eBay. I'm not sure what they're worth yet. When I originally looked for comps, I really couldn't find anything on them. Therefore, we agreed to do a split deal with our uh, friend. He just wanted them out of the house and uh, we were happy to sell it for him. So I'm going to get these ones just lightly cleaned up and posted. If you do ever see connectors like this, you just have to twist them until they open up. And then inside of them there's a hole, that's where the speaker wire goes, and then you just twist them shut. They're pretty straightforward, nothing to be afraid of. You can see the little hole right down there. Now that I know that this piece works, the amplifier works, I tested a cassette player, that works, that's ready. I tested a CD player, that works, that's ready. And all you do is just toggle between the inputs here. So there's your phono or your um, vinyl record player, your CD player, your VCR potentially, and then tape. And then I also picked up this bad boy from Goodwill for 30 bucks, that 200 CD player. I can't let you hear it because YouTube will demonetize our channel or demonetize the video at least if we play copywritten music, but it does work. We don't pop in 200 CDs to test these. We usually do about five. We put them in individual spots. So when you open this thing up and toggle, um, usually the thing that goes bad with them is the belts. So as long as things are moving, uh, quite nicely in here. You shouldn't have any issues. And then when you close it, uh, you can select discs and just kind of play with it. It auto selects for you. So it's going to disc uh, 122. There's a bunch of programming and stuff you can do. Pretty straightforward. Once you have a receiver and your speakers set up, uh, you can test this stuff really quickly. It's right around four o'clock. It's time to pull some orders from yesterday. Yesterday was a really slow day, which makes sense because we we're behind all day, you know, it's Monday, it's a big shipping day, we had an electrician over, Monda wasn't feeling so good, Jessica wasn't feeling so good, so it was just kind of a hectic day. So we knew that it wasn't going to be a huge sales day. Still, we sold nearly $400 in gross, which is pretty good. Today's off to a little bit better start, but I do have to pull the orders from yesterday to ship out, so I'll pull those real quick, show you what's sold, and we'll continue this journey together. The first thing that sold was this helmet. It's a AFX FX41. I was able to find their website and research a little bit more about it. It's in really good condition. We got this from Jay's store. It sold for 100 free ship, which seems like a really good price. However, it's going to Oregon, so shipping is going to eat up probably like $30 or so for this size. Sweet helmet, uh, excellent condition. Glad to see it go so fast. It's all within two days of listing. Here's that helmet, eight pounds, 1914 by 15, going to Oregon. There's that sale. And it looks like it'll be 33.14. I think I was in the ballpark of my estimate. 
Another very fast sale, this 4 American Girl doll, 18 inch dolls desk sold. 60 bucks shipped. I sent out a bunch of offers for like 45 to 50. No one wanted it. Somebody paid full price for it. This took about two and a half, three weeks to sell. This came from another store buyout. It does have a decent amount of these cosmetic uh, scratches on it, but it's pretty solid. You know, cast iron and wood. It'll last a long time. So both of those sold yesterday. This roaster sold today. This came from that store buyout as well, the same one we got that desk for. So for 100 shipped, this one's going to Tennessee, so law of averages, right? This one's going to Oregon, so it's going to be like 35 40 to ship it with UPS Ground or FedEx. This one is free shipping as well. It's only going to Tennessee. It's going to be like $12 to ship it with UPS Ground or FedEx. So you can see, you know, the long-term free shipping model works for us, but we're also in the Midwest and there's some advantages on location for sure. So I'm going to get these packed up and I'll post some more orders. Just for fun, although I'm not shipping it, it's eight pounds. Those are the dimensions of this uh, Magnolite. USPS priority a whopping 1344 so again this stuff averages itself out therefore we offer free shipping we explain our reasoning behind free shipping in the video I'll, I'll link it down below we talk about free shipping based off of location and data points that we've gathered for a long period of time to justify and understand it if you want to check it out uh, like i said i'll link it down below two pairs of shoes sold yesterday first these caterpillars they're like new like super clean $40 shipped out the door. Caterpillar can be a tough seller. Sometimes their work stuff does better, uh, a lot better than like the dress style shoes. But again, like new condition from the thrift store for only six bucks. The other one are these Adidas cleats. They're a indoor soccer type shoe for 38 shipped. Pretty nice condition overall. Uh, again, thrifted for six bucks. These took a while. Any sort of special type of, you know, these aren't cleats, but uh, indoor soccer shoes tend to do a little bit, you know, I don't want to say worse, but they're a little bit slower seller because they're for a specific thing. So anyways, we'll box these two up, box those two up. I can ship this one tomorrow as I'm running out of time. I'm going to go ahead and drop these off. One more pair I need to ship out. These sold today, but because of the time zone differences, eBay wants me to ship them today. So apparently they sold yesterday according to eBay's time zone, whatever that means. Anyway, Saucony's sold super fast, size 14, nice clean condition for 50 shipped. Tati's fast asleep. Mona went to put Jesse down about half an hour ago. It's just past 9 p.m. We got our quota up as far as how many listings. So we got 20 up on the regular store and 10 up on our secondary store. I have another 10 or so items on my phone for tomorrow, but I'm going to continue to process two of the things listed today already sold, which is always awesome. And then we had another really quick sale from yesterday. This uh, Afghan granny square sold. I got this for free. Some thrift store locally that failed um shut down and had everything for free so i grabbed this thing grabbed also like a alligator belt and some other stuff from there too so free into 35 bucks shipped uh, we'll take it all this stuff down here is just trash and recycle um, i was going to part this thing out but this is just way too greasy and sticky and there's not a lot of sold comps just for the dome so i'm gonna recycle it Got these speakers up, the, the set of three for 1250 bucks shipped. They're worth about a grand or so and they're heavy and it's going to cost a good amount to ship them. Also got pictures of these Pioneers. I'm going to try to sell these locally for 50 bucks to get my initial investment back. And then here's everything else that's been processed and listed, uh, or at least processed, mostly listed. Um, just finished all the Tech Deck stuff. Uh, all the Pioneer stuff is in the basement already for storage. Got the lot of cassettes to do, those are 8 tracks, uh, still have to do the action figures. Those Boyd's Bears aren't worth much, but that lot already sold today for 38 shipped. I got the pressure cooker up, some Star Wars stuff. And wanted to point this thing out, if you guys see these, we have seen them a decent amount of times on Facebook Marketplace. They're Mr. Coffee Frappe Makers. They're worth like 60, 70 bucks plus shipping. Got this one listed, super clean. There's a little bit of debris or you know, coffee staining on the inside, but very light to use. Easy to test these, super, super easy money. Picked this up for 10 bucks locally and listed it for 100 shipped. The sell through rate has been really strong for a long time on those.
I'm not gonna work super duper late. I'm gonna probably put another hour or so, maybe a little bit more. I'm thinking, I'm debating on what to do next. I think I'm just gonna grab a bunch of shoes and get them processed, um, start getting them cleaned and ready for photography tomorrow. We like to get a bulk amount of shoes done ahead of time so that we can just create drafts and list them throughout the day periodically just to keep that algorithm nice and healthy and always refreshing and that leads to a good amount of shoe sales as you've seen from our videos we sell you know two three pair a day on average and we definitely want to keep that going shortly after i said i was going to do some shoe cleaning i realized that i don't have the energy for that so i'm going to do some little sorting type work to get ready for tomorrow let me show you what i was just working on and something very surprising i found so we got all these little trinkets and perfumes from Londa's aunt that was all in that you know all that stuff that she gave us for jesse's educational fund and these aren't really worth much they're worth like five bucks a piece these little um perfumes even if they're brand new so what i'm thinking about doing is just lotting up all the small perfumes lotting up these thimbles if that's if that's, if that's what these are called thump thimbles i think that's they're i'm pretty sure they're thimbles i'm gonna lot those up they're not worth much maybe like 15 shipped for these six but this little cat um 1977 it's just a little trinket uh nancy lopez stamp made in japan comps are looking pretty interesting for this thing anywhere from like 15 plus shipping to like 60 plus shipping so probably gonna price it right around like 30 to 40 free ship right around there and then i have a couple of these glass um perfume bottles definitely older style so i gotta figure out what these two are and then just a couple more trinkets this little basket and then this little uh, whatever whatever that is so that's what i'm working on now Nice, easy, light work to end the evening. Good morning. It's uh, about 9.45 in the morning. Melinda left. She went to drop off Jessica. She's going to stop by Goodwill on the way back. Hopefully snag some clothing and shoes so we can just continue to pump in great quality products into our store. I already listed eight things this morning. Those action figures from yesterday. I'm going to keep listing those throughout the day. Some of the items already sold from yesterday, which is always awesome. We did have one Instagram sale as well. Um, so what we do occasionally, when we find things that are unique or vintage, or we believe is really a good fit for our audience on Instagram, we'll just post it in our stories and sometimes people snag it up which is pretty awesome. You know, it's a way for us to give somebody a better deal and people support us uh, for our content, which, you know, it's a win-win. Yesterday was all about audio. Today is going to be all about video. I'm going to go to my car, get all of the electronics out of the trunk from Jay's store buyout. They're still in there and start testing those. Our associate is coming back today. Melinda is going to be back in about 45 minutes or so and just going to be a huge processing day. I'll show you some sales. We'll keep you in the loop of what we're processing, how we're testing things, and so on. Let's get this day started. Frosty. All right, so here are all the electronics. Uh, mostly it's like DVD, VCR, combo units. There's a cassette deck. I missed the opportunity. I should have tested this one yesterday. But mostly these are like VCRs and whatnot. A bunch of blank tapes. So I'm gonna get all this stuff out of the car inside the house and we'll start the testing process. Here it all is. So it's mostly sound equipment, which kind of sucks because I missed the opportunity to batch, but that's okay. We'll just set up the testing station again and get the stuff tested. A lot of bulky stuff. Uh, bulky stuff, unless you're making a good net profit, don't waste your time with it because it's a lot more work than just clothing. But a lot of this vintage stuff has really good resale value and you should definitely look it up. If you're intimidated by it, it really isn't that difficult to test after all. And it's really nice to look up the comps because you can just type in the model number, uh, which typically is right in the front of each unit. I'm going to spend the next hour or so, maybe two hours, getting all this stuff tested. We'll check back in when Mona returns. I'm sure she has some goodies to show us from the thrift store. So I got this one tested. Everything works but the cassette player. I did look up comps. They still sell with that defect. So this is probably like a $30 plus shipping unit. And then tested this one. This one works really well. Didn't have the power um, cord with it, but we had an extra. We had an extra for this one too, so that's good. The third one, not so much luck. Just set this one up for testing, and there's some pretty obvious signs of it not working. So one, when I change the volume, notice I'm turning it up, but the volume is staying or going lower. So that's not working. 
when I hit the open CD button, it opens just fine, which is good. But then several times, of course, it doesn't want to do it now. It was closing by itself. So let's see if it'll do it again. Oh, okay. Well, that part works. Volume doesn't work on it. Uh, I'm going to look up the comms to see if anybody wants this thing for parts. And uh, maybe somebody can repair it. Otherwise, we're going to recycle it. More testing. Wanted to just give you a little bit more step by step, I guess. So, this is a receiver. One easy way to tell is if it has all of these inputs where you can plug in your tape deck, your CD deck, so on and so forth, your VCR. The brand doesn't matter. You can test Sony on Teok and Teok on Pioneer. It doesn't matter. These are cassette units. We got a Pioneer, Teok, and a Oinko. Oinko. They're all duals, so obviously you're going to need a cassette or two. I have uh, Mr. Bob Seeger here. Know that your media works too. Sometimes that can be an issue. I know this cassette works perfectly fine. And then over here, we have three more receivers. So if the first one doesn't work, we're going to try the other ones. Now, when I set this up, I'm going to set up the receiver plus tape deck plus speakers. If this doesn't work, then I can exchange it. If it does work and this cassette unit works, then I'm just going to keep it the same. So only one thing gets rotated. Once I get this set up, the tape decks are going to get rotated and then the receiver is going to get rotated, if that makes sense. You need speakers, so obviously get yourself some speaker wire. If you don't have any, black goes in black, red goes in red. And then connect that in the back of your speaker. So that's step one. Notice I'm only getting static, which is perfectly fine. Some of these units need antennas, some of them don't, but I know my speaker is not hooked up. Now I can hook up my tape deck. I need red and white. You can use a, a audio video, you know, standard cord or just one that's uh, red and white. It doesn't really matter. In this case, I'm using uh, black as white and red as red. So we got the output here and the input here. That'll be just fine. Got my speaker. Unfortunately, this one already says error. It has something to do with this door here. So this one's going to be sold for parts. And Jay did tell us that this one is for parts. So no biggie. On to the next one. Same thing. This goes into the input. And this one is working. So the volume is going to be down here through the receiver. And of course, I want to make sure I'm in the right spot. So here's a tuner. CD. Notice no sound. And now we're on the tape and it works. So now I'm just going to test all of my functions, test the other side too, and I'm done. You can see how easy this is now because I already have the setup. I got the speaker, I got the receiver. Now I just switch out the CD player or deck player. And then once I'm done with that, I know this is working, so I'm going to switch these out. I know this is working, so I'm going to keep it, if that makes sense. On to this next one. Uh, pretty easy. Power on. Nothing happens on the display, so we're going to look it up, see if it's worth anything for parts, and sell it as is. Hi everybody, it is Mel. I am also in this video. As Adeen mentioned, it's Wednesday, and on Wednesdays I take Jessica to my mom's house. She lives a bit further out, so what I like to do on the way home is stop at thrift stores. I'm already out, it just makes sense. Today was an awesome awesome day to stop at one of the thrift stores. I got so much good stuff. I'm going to show you some of the highlights and we'll pop up some comps of those as well. It's six bags worth of clothing and shoes. I'll pan over so you can see the hot mess that I've added to our house. And then I'll go through some brands that you should also watch out for. Here's what six bags of Goodwill clothes look like on any given day. Lots of great bread and butter stuff in here. That's a Woolrich Made in USA with a really sweet holiday print on it. Some vintage sweaters. Athleta. Madewell. Some silver jeans. There's BKE in there. These are some really great ones that I do not see every day at our thrift. The first is this Kate Spade dress. It's a thicker material. It is an A-line dress, really pretty, timeless, classic. Kate Spade is really good for those types of styles. I also found some Lululemon, which is very hard to find at the thrift because I'm pretty sure Goodwill knows it's a good seller, so they usually pull it. These are track pants, and we'll pop the comps up, like I said, very high sellers on this type of Lululemon pants. I did get some basic leggings as well. 
This was in the skirt section, and I kid you not, I got to this and I was like, what is this nonsense? Well, I was trying to find the brand, and then this little logo popped out, and I was like, oh, that's what this nonsense is. So that went in my cart. This brand I have never seen before. I honestly never thought I would find it in our thrift stores. Really great brand, really holds its resale value. I'll pop up some comps. Everlane is also a brand to watch out for. This is a more basic style, but if you can find their dresses, those sell very high. But for $4 into about 45 to 50, that's still a great sell through. Madewell, also watch out for this brand. Not all the styles sell the same, but this is just a really nice seasonal, basic, timeless cardigan. So that should sell very well. Prana and Athleta skirts, both strong active wear slash daily wear. They're very versatile brands. They always sell pretty quick. I did find a Bowdoin dress and it was at the thrift store where that woman I had mentioned before had this huge Bowdoin haul, but she obviously forgot one. So I scored that and right next to it was this Patagonia dress. They don't sell super high, but it should get about $40, $45 for this style. Mauve is an anthropology brand. Some of the styles do sell better, but they do have a good resale value. And this style, this is a very nice, thick material. It's also, with the colors, very appropriate for just a classic night out or seasonal for like a nice Christmas or holiday dress as well. This is a wool Eileen Fisher and it's maxi length. Over 100% sell through rate on this style of Eileen Fisher in this fabric and you'll see the comps, it's a great resale value. Some great condition Dan Post cowboy boots. Okay, don't think my camera's gonna pick up the logo, but it is there on the heel, and we'll show some comps for you too, so you can see what those go for. All those great brands aside, this was my favorite find that I'm including because I love it. It's a vintage, very 80s jean skirt. It's made in Hong Kong, that's how you know it's vintage, and just the style of the tag is also kind of a giveaway. Even though it's not like a well-known brand or anything, I do pick up unique pieces when I see them like this, especially vintage pieces. I love vintage. My goal is actually to start photographing those clothes today. We do have our part-time worker here today. She might make an appearance, maybe. Oh, this is so cute. Everybody, this is Emily. We've talked about her. She's been working with us for a while now. She's awesome. This is her. Hi. Our kid loves her. She gives her high fives. And this is our situation. Welcome to hell. <laughs> Here it is. This is, your, uh... this is quarter four misery. You got a sort of a workstation in there kind of set up. This is my new fern. Yeah, it's been good. It's been very productive today. I'll tell you that much. Uh, all of these electronics uh, have been tested and photographed. So a bunch of this stuff I'm actually listing right now from the ground floor here. Uh, we'll do some numbers as far as our productivity, uh, probably at the end of the video, we'll post some orders that we have to ship out today too, and um, you know, welcome to hell. It's getting so bad that we have to bury our dog in clothing. I'll cover a few things that sold as we're packing them up. This first is a Beatles bundle. They sold to an Instagram friend for $60. Thank you so much, Lacey. We appreciate it. We got these from Jay's store. We sold this toilet bowl brush, and I'm very happy to see it go. Not only every time I came, went up to the loft, he was just sitting right there. He also kind of creeps me out a little, but I suppose he's cute in his own way. This is going through the global shipping program, and it sold for $80 on eBay. We had several people from Russia reach out interested in this thing, so I don't know if it's just very popular in Russia or what, but uh, yeah, it's kind of creepy. Old toys sell well. We sold this vintage Tonka truck, $60 on eBay. It's a little bit bulky. We have $12 into it from a garage sale. It'll probably ship for around the $10 to $15 mark. This is a very random sale. This is a mini basket like picnic basket. Log Longaburger is a good regular basket to look out for. They can sell between $30 to $60 plus shipping if you have the normal size baskets. This we got for free from my aunt. Sold for $35 very quickly. Not something I would probably go out and look for though. Another thing I wouldn't necessarily look for are the Boyd's Collection Bears. 
Adin was talking about how they're not really worth much separately, but we grouped them together and they did already sell for $38 as a lot. Cover a few fast sales. This was a Pioneer stereo system, sold for $80 on eBay. It was tested and listed yesterday. And as you can see, it is going out the door today. This is a Nike Thermofit, which means it's lightly fleece lined inside. Picked this up and it sold within a day of listing it for $35. We got it at our local Goodwill for $5. These bright neon colors do tend to sell pretty quick for us. So if you see those at the thrift, check the price, see if it's worth picking up. This is a vintage REI, it was made in USA. Got it at the same time I picked up that Nike piece. Very simple, basic, cable knit, Henley style. Uh, we sold it for $30, again, within a day of listing. And that was, again, on Poshmark. It's that time of the day where we get all of our shipments packed up uh, today it's been pretty slow which is okay i'm sure it'll catch up later we usually get a lot of evening sales as we're in the eastern time zone and a lot of our customers are texas and um, california of course let's run through some numbers to see what we were able to achieve in the last uh what roughly day and a half we're still processing so far we've listed 50 items in the last day and a half we've made 30 sales which is pretty darn good Emily is in the other room taking pictures of all the clothing or a lot of the clothing that Monda got today and we still have a bunch of stuff that's been processed uh, yet to list. Yeah, good stuff. Uh, we're really keeping the store active. I know it looks like a hot mess in our house because it's a hot mess in our house, mm -hmm. but uh, worth it I think for quarter four. Yeah, we'll clean a lot of this up uh, right bef you know, before the, the day ends, right around 5, to get everything out of the way before Melinda goes and grabs the kiddo. Mm -hmm. That way, you know, it's not just a bunch of junk everywhere. But happy with the results. Uh, it's the sacrifice that we're choosing to make currently, and I think long term it's going to pay off. One more sale. Uh, these earmuffs, the ATL flippers, plural now, because Jasmine has joined Derek full-time reselling. They ordered a uh, pair of these earmuffs from us just to support. We really appreciate them. We really like them. We're throwing in another pair so you guys can match <laughs> around the ATL. So thank you so much, you guys. Appreciate it. We'll get these shipped out today. If you guys haven't checked out their channel yet, I've talked about it in the past. Uh, I'll link them down below. You can go check them out. Give them some love. That's going to do it for this one. I hope you guys uh, learned something, saw something that you wouldn't have otherwise thought to flip enjoyed our company, maybe even smiled. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.